Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to go over a conversation I had with this person via YouTube comments. So let me bring up this one's a little easier. Um, this person says, hey, very interested in your course, but just wanted to make sure that it's going to get me where I need to be. As I run into quite a bit of trouble with compatibility, it looks like Windows is the preferred OS of choice for algo trading. Um, I think Windows, from my perspective, is probably the last choice. Uh, Quantstar just did a uh, blog on that, and they said that their choice is Linux, specifically the Ubuntu or Ubuntu uh, Linux distribution. That's their preferred choice. I could kind of relate around that, um, but I just prefer my Mac. Uh, there's a lot more I can do on it. Anyways, I'm interested in setting up a trading environment, giving the following. Working on the latest version of Mac OS. I suppose I'd give up a Windows virtual box if I need to. But would prefer not to, but I'm afraid it may yield performance issues. Not sure, just my assumption. Uh, I've been running Mac now for about three years, haven't had any performance issues. I see more performance issues on my um, Windows 10 system, which I rarely use because of the lagging and the security updates and blah, blah, blah. I go on about it. I have experience programming Java Python as per your observation. It seems that Python may be the best choice. Um, Really, to be honest, it depends on your broker. If you go with Awanda uh, for Forex, let's say, they're pretty well the only game in town uh, game, game in town for it, but uh, more people I talk to that have used Awanda are pretty well uh, not happy with it, just due to a lot of, let's just leave it, questionable things. Um, and if you are doing, as I said, uh, Forex, uh, my preferred broker is Dukas Copy. Um, but as you say, it's Java, so I just put up some Java courses, very affordable ones for both programmers and non-programmers based upon the tools that uh, Duke's Copy provide for automated trading, which is quite good. And um, I actually i am going to most likely move forward with this. The strategy you want to implement is technical market flow or oriented and simply intended to eliminate entry exit disciplinary uh, issues with trading and remove data points like date, win price, market cap, time elapsed, current. Pretty straightforward in that regard. Um, you can kind of do that with, uh, with, um, with, uh, the algorithm that you want to use for, for, <clears throat> for, uh, CFDs for, uh, your, a Forex broker, but if you're going to stick with, let's say, interactive brokers, um, you could run into all kinds of weird problems from my experience thus far. So I was originally looking to use TWS, Python, IB, uh, Pi API, which looked like a fairly easy way to do this, but the following comment on Sendex intro video scared me a bit as the Python, IB, Pi is look nice. However, after spending some time, I decided not to use it. The reasons are it doesn't seem to be um, maintained, which is true. This is the problem with these things. Not catching up with the latest Java client, which is again true. Um, if you go to my um, courses, I do have an entire course built around um, interactive brokers. If you go to the product, I do have an entire um, interactive brokers API workshop that really focuses on execution orders and so on and so forth. But you can always uh, go to that, uh, check that out. Um, so. I use for that, I focus on Java, it's just better than C++, but you can get farther ahead with C++ if you're willing to uh, spend the time with it. Uh, okay, continuing along. Um, two, it's too low level that you have to keep track of async requests and responses protocol. Look, uh, level events and state because of this IB Pi tutorials that I've never never take off from the basic usage. Uh, I agree with that. And that's probably why if you follow my thought theory on Duca's copy using J4X, the exact same, stick with the platform. Uh, always put your orders into the platform. That's how I look at it. Try to stay away from standalone options. It just makes your um, coding a lot hairier and um, you have to create a lot more plumbing and components to get it working as stated in this comment. Actually, Java client offers high level API uh, I, com IB contracts and other things. It's much easier to implement the application level and handlers. IB Pi offers the com IB uh, client only. I don't know the quality of the Java to Python translator, especially with spread safety. 
they would have felt like uh, that we would be on their side. I, I really think when the Python um, for live money, we could probably get in a weird, dangerous problem. So I've kind of gotten around that using my Ducas copy for Forex, which I'm planning to go. And hopefully I'll be able to move into um, the interactive brokers later on down the line, depending upon my account, my trading success. If Python is most must probably, I'd use try Java and Java client while I'm writing my code in Java and Ruby Um That's how with um, uh, behind a algorithmic trading system with all the new visualization and so on and so forth. Python, uh, Redis for the message queuing, as well as a backstore of the data, which you can see here. We give lots of demos here. Which orders as well as data back and forth between the two. Um, so there are those options if need be. And um, let me just show you what else we got. I'm trying to do, uh, but I would like to hate to run into issues regarding data retrieval and execute while using real money. The comment that I read, okay, so, um, so I said if you're worried about this, it may my recommend with a more rigid language like Java or C++. IB has a Python API support, but there seems lots of bugs still. It could take years to work out. I'm part of the newsletter or the news group for the IB. Um, API group and they just a lot of people seem to have a lot of problems with the Python so it could take a long time before they stabilize the Python but coming back to these legitimate comments on um, on uh, Python they're very legitimate uh, okay um, one of the things with if you do decide to go with Duca's copy again I'm gonna use Java to keep it embedded within the um, uh, the platform J4X and you're good to go. It's much simpler um, and a much easier. I just wish um, uh, a lot of the uh, stock brokers had these type of setup that Lucas Copy has for stocks and options and uh, futures. Uh, also, I said also this is a high level overview of the Python components needed for Algo uh, trading system. You can always pipe orders in the Redis message queue into a Java app to be pushed into TWS. I've already adjusted that with that IB course. This is why in my advanced IB course, do realize that Python is now half price off. So yeah, coming back to that, um, yes, this course is uh, half price off. So I'll put the proper link in there, um, in there as well. Let's just see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, right here. So it's half price off. Okay, hopefully I'll address some of the concerns. Um, now, also concerning the Ducas copy, uh, what I'm planning, what I am doing is, as I said, I'm going to be using CFDs uh, and then kind of playing with those and, and treating those as if they're a future or an option and watching the data. And you can um, keep everything all within uh, your J4X platform, running your Java strategy. And as I said, you can also visually design the strategy and implement it into J4X using the tool called Visual J4X, which is kind of like for lazy people and non-programmers. I'm one of them. And um, with the ability then to be able to not just focus on Forex, but then also 
focus on indexes like stock indexes uh, as well as all the whatever commodities and financial instruments you have available through Dupus Copy for the CFD equivalent, which is really just a, a very low entry point for people that want to trade those kind of instruments to see how, do, how their behavior um, works. So that's the plan of action I'm planning to move forward with. Hopefully, uh, somehow this video will help you out. Talk to you later.